In this video, we're going to be talking about something that is probably on your mind, and that is, is AI going to be wiping out my job as a PM, project manager, in the next coming years or months? Is there any reputable sources out there that can confirm that we're going to be having a job in the next coming years? Well, we do have an article that just came out a few days ago that is and that has done a lot of research on whether people like us will actually have a job or not. Let's get started. I'm Andrew Ramdial. I am the author of the world's best Senate PMP study guide, PMP exam prep, and has helped close to a million project managers become certified over the last 20 plus years. Anyhow, let's get started on this. So Microsoft released an article a few days ago, about a week ago, that specifies jobs that are most under threat for AI taking, taking away their jobs. And the good news is we're not on that list. I want to show you this article. Let's take a look at this article, link below for this article. I'm not going to go into this. I want to keep this video short, but I'm not going to go into the itty gritty stuff on it. Um, but Microsoft researchers have revealed the 40 most exposed to AI jobs, most exposed, and even teachers make the list. So if you're, if you're in a teacher, well, it's probably not good. All right, so I want to scroll down here and you guys can read all of this. Again, you can read the article on your own there. Um, this is interesting because it's like the 10 least affected jobs by AI. <laughs> Bridge and lock tenders. Uh, it's a lot of physical thing. Floor sanders. All right, so if you're doing things like water, you work in a water treatment plant, you're a pile driver operator, you probably are going to have a job for a long time as those are really physical labor jobs. And these are, of course, going to be uh, least affected. Now, the ones most affected on this is going to be things like interpreters. I can see this, like I could see interpreters being, by the way, did I forget to mention that project managers are not on the list? Did I forget? Thank God for that. Uh, but people like interpreters and translators, I can see that because you type something in chat GPT and say interpret it, it probably will. Historians, oh, chat GPT and all these AIs have more than enough passenger attendants, sales representatives, yep, writers for sure. And you know, I'm probably doomed because I'm, I'm, I'm an author of a book. So I think AI is taking my, my job away now as the author. So that's not good. Uh, of course, different uh, CNC tool programmers, ticketing agents, telemarketers, concierge services, uh, mathematicians. I, did, I wasn't expecting that. That one was uh, pretty unexpected. Copyright and proofreaders. Oh, yes. I, I don't exactly know how hostess. You're in a restaurant. Somebody has to bring you your food. I'm not sure. Maybe we can place the order through some kind of digital machine. Put in the comments below. Why do you think? hostesses are listed there that's that's interesting business teachers well I'm, I'm i'm kind of a teacher so i might i might be in trouble here guys um demonstrators promoters advertising sales agents okay so this list goes on and on all different kinds of things but the word project manager is in there we do have management analysis that's the closest we get library science teacher post-secondary switchboard i mean these guys are supposed to be wiped out a long time ago i'm thinking switchboard like telephone anyhow very really, uh, pretty uh, interesting article on this you guys should check out this article so if you're wondering as a project manager am i going to be having a job in the next couple of years i think you do according to this article it doesn't list anything like managers or project managers uh, is going to be losing their job so i think this is good news for us but it's uh, pretty bad news for me because the two things that I do is listed here, which is business teacher, because I teach business, technically I teach business courses and authors, and uh, that basically wipes me out completely. But you know what? I still manage projects in my medical school, so that's great. Um, all right, so check out this article. I thought this was pretty interesting. Check the links below for the article. And if you found value in this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of project management content to help people pass all kinds of exams. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.